I'm Marion Harrington. I'm Maya Kalkini. We're from Duchenne, and this is Nuclear. Woo! Oh, 5.30, July 16, 1945. God slept peacefully in the sky, soft and unassuming, confident in his role as the sole breather of life and only kisser of death. July 16, 1945. The day man took death as his own, plucked it out of oblivion, rolled it between his fingers, and chewed it between his teeth. The day cigar smoke plumed into a mushroom cloud. The day men stopped being men and became gods, and bundled fate into a little gift called Trinity, that then unwrapped it. Red bows of toxic fumes crisscrossed, an inferno tucked into plutonium power, hotter than the surface of the sun by ten times Trinity, Trinity craved into herself, curled into a ball, welded her soul together, but it shattered anyway, atomic fission, they said. A nucleus crumpled in the fists of scientists. Trinity threw her arms out wide, collapsed within herself, fire and pain seeping out, 20,000 tons balanced on the palm of earth, which grimaced and screamed and gave way 12,000 feet into herself. Oppenheimer, obvious as you were, your Lemmy's tongue flipped over truth. I am become death, the shatterer of worlds. Oh, oh no, no, my friend, you do not become death. Death, death becomes you. Slips on. Cradles you in self, flatters your meek human shape, covers your pale weaknesses with the hood of radioactivity. My dear scientists, Einstein, Siller, Heller, you scuttled from Hitler's killer fist into the arms of another murderer. You twisted your brains into death traps, your hands into knives, lips into killers. The people of Hiroshima never felt their skin melt into their bones, melt into their viscera, melt into history. But we did. We watched the eruption, watched God Himself be outboxed, watched men obliterate the confines of death, and we were enchanted. The hot breath of fire, the mushroom of toxic heat, put on a pretty little light show. We could not rip ourselves away from. July 1945, the month man's hunger for a pretty little package of death swallowed him, chewed him up, and spit him out. Eyes reflecting the captivating shine of the end of the world, death had regained its hold over us, not in fear but in thirst. Thirst for the screen, for the manacles of pain, and gut-wrenching, agonizing terror, yes! 